New York City is the cultural capital of the world. New York City is throbbing with life, and Judaism is throbbing with life. In this fast-paced world that we live in, it just means so much to me. There's a place I can go where I can truly, you know, learn and get to discover my, you know, my Jewish heritage. The mission statement of the Yeh Center is to bring about a renaissance of Jewish pride amongst New York Jews. I would say Asian in a nutshell is a, is a great welcoming community. I feel very excited about my experience at Aish. I mean, why come, why come to Aish? I've always wanted to learn more about Judaism. Aish helps you realize who you are. I realize that I really don't know a whole lot about Judaism. There's more than just you in the world. There's more than just satisfying oneself. It's very important to me to get to connect with my heritage. And I wanted to learn more, so I came to Aish. There's so much I, I still don't know about. How are we living our lives? How can we live better? How can we raise our children better? How can we treat each other better? I probably have less education than a third grader in Israel. Aish is a great place to start. Why Aish? We live very busy, full lives. We have stressful jobs. We have two children we're raising. Learning Torah allows us to think beyond all of that. What I learned from Aish is the respect of Shabbat. It's a day that I have only for me and my family. I love the community at Aish. I feel like Aish is a second home, safe place that I can learn and be myself. Because when I've had troubles in my life, I've been able to go to uh, the rabbis. I carry uh, Rabbi Jacobs in my pocket with his uh, MP3 lectures all the time. The Aish Center and Rabbi Schiff have become very important parts of my life and my wife's. I have basically dedicated my, my life to traveling around this city. I've dedicated my... <laughs> I feel like he honked right when I started. We offer people the opportunity to learn something that's important. Whatever time of day, whatever time of week, whatever time of year, we're there for you. We want to learn with you. We want to inspire you. We actually met at an Aish Gala event. Both of us had no intention of meeting anyone. Well, actually, when I was at an Aish event, I ran into a dear friend of mine. She said, you should keep your eyes open, and I said, if Hashem wants me to meet someone, he'll have to stick him right next to me because I'm not planning on looking around the event for someone. And so I ended up sitting down and my Bashar was actually sitting right next to me and I didn't have to look very far. Kathy and I met through Aish. Well, we met at Aish. While I was dating my fiance, um, we went to a lot of classes together at Aish. Really helped, I think, both of us through the process of dating. Now we're engaged, thanks to Aish. Because both of us have been studying with the same rabbi, I think it's helped our marriage. Aish makes us open our minds to see each other and understanding each other on a whole different level. I think it's just helped us to become closer. It's definitely been a key ingredient in having a successful marriage. I went to a Monday night learning night session and I was immediately blown away. What I got started was doing one-on-one -on -one studying where you have a study buddy. You go there on Monday nights and you see all these people wanting to learn more about Judaism. And there's always someone there to answer my questions and help me, and guide me in the right direction. And it gave me just a sense of my Jewishness that was beyond anything that I had learned when I was a child. You walk into a room at age and everyone's excited about the mitzvah of learning. That it offers such a variety of avenues that I can learn in, whether it's one-on-one -on -one learning. Aish offers Hebrew. Challah baking. Master your emotions. Clarity classes. I really like the Kabbalah classes. We have a Yiddish class now for those of you who want to revive the language. We learn Bar Torah, Pirkei Avot. Holiday events. Kosher dating. They've brought in nutritionists to speak about health issues, personal growth. What I'm learning a lot with my friends and one of my non-Jewish friends was Jella. She's like, I want to do that. Career counselor that's available now. Marriage seminars. We laugh together, we, we talk together, we, we break bread together, we pray together. Trips to Poland, trips to Brazil. Okay, so they've got the information, they've got the socializing, they've got the community. What else do they got going on for them? We're very happy about the business networking events that we run that allow young Jewish professionals to meet and learn from executives of experts. It gives people the opportunity to connect, young Jewish professionals, to connect with each other and also having fun. I got my job through Aish, so. <laughs> the first time I went to Yankee Stadium, I was a little boy. I remember walking in, everyone seeing the players so proud to be in the uniforms. And the Yankees have a tradition of 100 years. Now, if you think of it, Judaism has a tradition of 3,000 years. How much more proud should we be about our people and our tradition and our heritage? Jewish pride.
I'm proud, I mean. I'm a proud Jew living in America. I'm really proud to be a Jew. Aish made me proud to be a Jew. Why am I proud to be a Jew? I mean, we have so many reasons to be proud of. Judaism has brought morality and meaning to the entire world. And I think we gotta get the word out and make people proud to be Jewish. Without H, there would be a, an enormous hole left in the Jewish education of New York City. I just want to thank all the rabbis at H for all their great work. Thanks to H for helping me find my soulmate. For being not judgmental. Making a world a better place. For being at home away from home. For providing me with a community. Uh, I'm thankful for a lot of friends that I've made through H. All of the fun that I've had. I'm thankful for H for teaching me what Shabbat means. And my own personal growth. But when you're young and single and not tied down, this is the time to refine the ideas of the life you want for yourself and your children. The torch that's been passed down for almost 4,000 years, generation to generation, all the way down to me, that I hold on to it, that I grip it tightly, that I cherish it, that I nurture it, and then I pass it down to the next generation. I urge everyone who sees this to support H. I would ask all of you to continue to support the H Center and the rabbis. If we don't support H, who's going to do it?